new material from one of the older mines in the Katanga, the Letois de Congo mine, loosely translated the Star of Congo mine, uh, uh, close to Lubumbashi, not to be mistaken for the uh, the star mine close to Likulukulu, li, li <laughs> well, quite complicated. We have this very, uh, uh, actually very odd, I still can't get my head quite around this, a matrix of, uh, for sake of ease, I'm going to say a mixture of Krasakala and uh, Malachite. I'm most likely wrong on that because the, on the Malachite side isn't quite the Malachite green. But perched in this are a multitude of uh, uh, cuprite crystals. Now, from a display point of view, I quite enjoy this particular angle where you can actually see the pyramidal formation of the cuprites. Crystalline right around. Of course, with strong lighting, there would be cherry red shining through. So if you have it standing that way around, there you see crystallization running through the matrix as well. So what is weird, this, this matrix is hellishly hard. But as you pop it open, you find more and more of these little cuprite crystals inside it. So if you, if you actually, from, from a trimming point of view, this can be turned into various, various specimens. Uh, I, I would keep this section intact, definitely. This top section where you have the, the lovely form of the cuprites. All the way from the Letois de Congo mine in uh, the Congo, Katanga Copper Crescent, uh, formerly Shaba Zaire.